A Duluth woman has made history, becoming the first woman to hike the Ice Age Trail in the winter months. Sharon Yu has details on this journey of over 1,100 miles in the cold. There's something you should know about Duluthian Emily Ford. I've always loved the dirt. I've always loved being like in the earth. So it was only natural for her to pack up her things to spend her winter doing something outdoorsy. She looked east, her heart set on Wisconsin. I just finished the Ice Age Trail, which runs <sighs> east to west-ish, right, in Wisconsin, but like takes a long detour south for a little bit and comes back up. Back at the end of December, Ford said a temporary goodbye to her pup and borrowed a companion hiking dog named Diggins, knowing this trip was going to be long. The whole trail is 1,200 miles, and my total was like 1,100 and some odd miles. I started it on December 28th, 2020, and finished on March 6th. 2021. The official 1,136 mile hike, making her the first woman to complete the trail during winter. It's not like you set out to make history, but you did. Yeah, Un unbeknownst to myself. I still don't think I really understand what that means. You know, a lot of people have been asking like, what does it feel like to be the first? And I'm like, well, I don't know. I guess like, cause I, I like trying to akin it to like, like what's something that you really like, like you just like to do. Now we're hiking to the other end. And that's kind of what this trip was. It was just a little passion project for the winter. A passion project during which she found many things. I think that's really good for us to kind of come back to our own core beliefs without being influenced by the outside world and kind of having that quiet time with ourselves. Cause it's really rare these days to get that quiet time with ourselves, unless you're really good at setting aside that time for yourself, which I am not. Along the way, during the coldest of nights, she found humanity by way of generosity from strangers. They would leave me stuff like at the trailheads if they wouldn't meet me. It's like we would stumble upon bags of goodies and food and water on those really cold nights. Um, some people let us stay in their house. That is, that's so cool. I think the biggest gift was them like sharing the slices of their life with you. Oh yes. It's just so good to like have those short term connections. Cause sometimes those are the ones that we remember the most in like the longest and make the most impact. And in terms of making an impact, her thesis is encouragement. When I left, I was like, cool. Like I want this to be a way, if anybody chooses to follow this story, for people to know like, this is a black person getting outside. Like it's, especially up here, it's very rare. Once a backpacker, always a backpacker. More than a thousand miles behind her this year. For next winter, the skies are kind of the limit, you know? Who's to say? Uh, looking at a ray of color in the sky and a promising mild start uh, yesterday, but we did eventually get into that rain we didn't talk about. And we've been dealing with rain solidly across the area all the way since uh, really late yesterday morning. Uh, here in Rochester, it was shortly afternoon. But the, yeah, again, the day started with that uh, nice little dose of sunshine. So peaks of sunshine and a mild, we were in the mid 50s yesterday, mild start to our uh, Tuesday. Colleen Haft sent us this picture from just north of Rochester, the bright orb in the sky. Uh, peeking through the clouds and then the rain took over and it's been with us a little more than half an inch has fallen uh, so far uh, here in Rochester. Uh, most of the area kind of the same situation. Very light rain still pivoting around this area of low pressure. The center of that system now approaching the Minnesota Iowa border. I uh, see the showers rotating around that uh, center of that uh, storm system just south of uh, Charles City right now. This is going to move into central and then northern Wisconsin for the course of the uh, midday and afternoon hours. Right now so far since midnight uh, just about a third of an inch of rain has fallen here in Rochester. That gives us a two day total of yesterday and today combined 55 hundredths an inch of rain so a little more than half an inch we're going to get another maybe quarter inch on top of that today so we're looking at the possibility of about three quarters of an inch overall in the way of rainfall here in Rochester Dodge Center a little more than a third of an inch Mason City almost half an inch 42 hundredths an inch there and we're known at 22 hundredths an inch so far since midnight uh, last night 48 right now on the weather patio and not a, a Terribly cold morning by seasonal standards. Pretty mild, in fact. There are some sprinkles around, but there have been any in the last hour. The winds out of the east, now southeast at uh, 8 miles per hour. Makes it feel like 44 at this hour. 47, the temperature at the airport in Rochester. Plainview, 49. It's 46 in Preston and uh, 47 in Mason City. With a, a little gap on the showers right now at the airport. 47 
Risk south wind makes it feel like 41, 13 miles per hour. Those winds will turn more to the west. Eventually northwest, that system then pulls away, and that's when that cooler air will come in. Winds will pick up. We'll still have the rain chances around until maybe mid-afternoon, and then things will dry out, and eventually we will see uh, things kind of taper, uh, kind of quiet down anyway. The center of that low-pressure low area in parts of Iowa, again, working its way across the local area as we speak, uh, as that's moving toward northern Wisconsin. Uh, back edge of the system, a little bit of snow farther north of us, and we're not worried about that here, but we'll have the rain at least around until about 3 or 4 o'clock, and then uh, the winds will be on the gusty side into the afternoon and early evening hours. Future track. Uh, showers uh, across the area. I guess again, the, the uh, heaviest rainfall we'll see throughout the day will be in the morning, afternoon. Widely scattered, lighter showers. Uh, activity then winds down between three and five o'clock. We'll have a drier, breezy evening with clouds still holding on until well after midnight. 47 right now in Rochester, northwest of us, outside the the influence of the storm system. A bit colder. It's 26 now in uh, Fargo, 32 in Rapid City, and 42 in Lincoln, Nebraska. So breezy and wet today. Temperatures basically in the 40s all day. They'll ease down low 40s by afternoon, but not dramatically colder. Just a little bit breezier, a little cooler this afternoon. And then a, a quiet round of sunshine for a couple of days, and there will be some weekend showers, but mainly on Saturday. So one more widespread round of rain really the next week or so. 47 for that morning commute. Clouds and showers holding on, and again, we'll keep that rain around through the rest of today until about 3 or 4 o'clock. So by and large, uh, the vast majority of the day. Uh, breezy situation, northwest winds 20 gusting at times to 30 miles per hour. So really feel that this afternoon. 40s for temperatures throughout the day, but we start in the upper 40s, reach low 40s in the afternoon and evening, and then dropping into the low 30s by late tonight. Here's future track watching that storm system move on to the north and east. The showers with us until early to mid afternoon. Then things really quiet down. We may see a couple of gaps developing the clouds well after midnight tonight, but we'll be taking until really the heart of tomorrow to really see abundant sunshine. Another storm system uh, kind of grazes the area to the south and east on Thursday to Friday, but we'll stay mainly dry with uh, mild sunshine. Cool Cool mornings, but mild afternoon is high temperatures close to 50 each of the next two days. And then Saturday, some scattered showers and just enough sunshine to help us reach the 50s again. And it gets even warmer from there into early next week. 45 would be typical this time of the year. We're going to be above that for the most part for the next several days, even a shot at 60 by next Monday as we uh, approach the beginning of April. Still not even there yet by though uh, next Monday. 47 today though, that'll be a morning high. We see temperatures ease down to around 43 or so by afternoon. The showers until early afternoon with northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting a little higher in the afternoon. Uh, diminishing breeze after midnight tonight, but uh, kind of a breezy evening. Temperatures uh, dropping eventually to 32. Seven day forecast will be in the 40s, 50s, and yes, even a shot at 60 over the next week. So some very mild uh, spring-like temperatures in store for us. Some days to look forward to. Thank you.